attendance, please stand. Color guard, please post the colors. Please welcome fifth graders Lorelai Mindy and Logan Flanagan, who will raise our flag this morning. Walking with them is Mr. Sean Flanagan, Logan's dad, and a member of the 5th Pennsylvania Regiment. The flag that will be raised was provided to us by Mrs. Kathy Gilman, an administrative assistant in our district's business office. Her mom, Ruth Dwyer, served as a Navy wave during World War II from 1943 through 1945. She was a medical assistant and stationed at Quantico, helping out at the hospital with the returning wounded. When she passed away in April 2016, this flag was presented to her family. Ruth's name proudly appears on the Wave Memorial Wall in Arlington National Cemetery. Brandon Jansen will now lead us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem.
Thank you. Students, please be seated. Thank you, Brandon. Good morning, staff, students, families, and honored guests. And welcome to Crooked Bill of Day 2018. My name is Kelly Sendall, and I am the proud principal of this wonderful and historic school. This year, we are celebrating the 240th anniversary of the Battle of Crooked Billet, which was fought right here on these grounds on May 1st, 1778. Every school has traditions, which are handed down year after year, but Crooked Billet Day is a day unlike any other. For many years, our community has gathered on this day to remember the heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country's freedom. This tradition teaches our students respect for the past and helps them link that past to the present. We are proud that our students learn about the responsibilities of citizenship and honor in our country and that they truly understand the importance of tradition. Today is an, is an especially special Crooked Billet Day. It is the last Crooked Billet Day that will be celebrated at this building, a tradition that began 55 years ago. Yes, this building is being demolished this summer and rebuilt over the course of the next two years, but the Crooked Billet Day celebration will continue on. Many of us sit here today with a mixture of emotions over Crooked Bill a Day, not ever looking exactly like this again. I'm sure many of you are remembering Crooked Bill a Days of years past, and for some of our guests and parents, maybe even your own experiences while you sat here as a student on Crooked Bill a Day years ago. I encourage you, I encourage all of you to visit our tent that is set up behind me and record your favorite memory of Crooked Bill it. I also encourage you to be excited about the future of our new school. Located in the tent, near the tent, uh, we will get them back in the tent, are architectural renderings and plans for our new building and papers for you to record your hopes for the new Crooked Billet. We are celebrating our rich history as well as our exciting future. We will continue the celebration at our Hats Off to Crooked Billet school event on June 9th. As on every Crooked Bill a Day, I would like to end with a quote. John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, once said, we celebrate the past to awaken the future. Today, we celebrate our past, the Battle of Crooked Bill it, the many Crooked Bill a Days that we have spent gathered around this flagpole, and the memories that we have all made since this school opened its doors in 1951. We will use our experiences from the past to make our future bright, and we'll continue to celebrate what makes our school so special. Crooked Billet, you are the best. Yes. Thank you again for joining us this morning, and welcome to Crooked Billet Day 2018. We have a number of special guests in our audience today, so I would like to start by introducing them. There are special um, people sitting on the risers over next to me, so I am going to introduce them in groups. So if you can please hold your applause until we get to the end of each group, and then we will applaud them and move on to the next group. So starting uh, representing the Hapro Horsham School District Administrators, we have Dr. Curtis Griffin, Superintendent of Schools. I'm going to stand or wave. Mrs. Peggy Stebner, Executive Assistant to the Superintendent. Dr. Monica Taylor, Assistant Superintendent and former Crooked Billet Principal. Dr. Sue King, Director of Elementary and Secondary Education. Dr. Dave Weber, Director of Curriculum. Mrs. Kimberly Myers, Director of Special Services. Mrs. Joan Staples, Supervisor of Special Services. Ms. Karen Fairclaw, Special Education Supervisor. Ms. Jeannie Hagan, Director of Community Outreach. Mr. John Kircher, Principal, Keith Valley Middle School. Mr. Ryan Thomas, Principal, Blair Mill Elementary School. 
Mrs. Meredith Kane Sokol, Assistant Principal, Crickabellet Elementary School. Mr. Steve Glaze, along with all of his fourth grade, fourth grade ambassadors and fifth grade student leadership team representing Hollowell Elementary School. Hollowell kids, you can give a wave. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Bree D'Angelo, Principal, Pennypack Elementary School. Mr. Joe Crow, Director of Operations. And Mr. Rick Kerrigan, Safety Director. Thank you to our Hepper Horsham School District Administrators. A special category of former Hepper Horsham School District Administrators. He is hiding somewhere in the back, but I saw you back there. Dr. Bill Lessa, former Superintendent of Schools. Representing the HHEF, Ms. Jennifer Hamill, co-president, and Ms. Mary Zalo, communications and administrative coordinator. <laughs> Representing the Hapro Horsham School Board, Ms. Jennifer Wilson. <laughs> Representing our Hapro officials, Mayor Nancy Genst, Mr. George Bollendorf, President of the Borough Council. Judy Emig, our Tax Collector. Mr. Eric Myers, our Fire Marshal. Mr. Matt Hauser, Assistant Chief. Mr. Bob Hardnett, Lieutenant with Enterprise. And Mrs. Kathy Salemno, Hapro Chamber of Commerce. Representing municipal and government offices, we have Mrs. Nancy Williams with the office of Tom Mert. <laughs> Representing our Crooked Billet Home and School Association Board, Mrs. Alicia Barber, our president. Mrs. Nicole Reichner, our vice president. Mrs. Karen Greenberg, our secretary. And Mrs. Jess Harold, our treasurer. Representing former Crooked Billet and Hapro Horsham staff members, Mrs. Alice Nugent, former Crooked Billet teacher. Mrs. Linda Mee, former Crooked Billet teacher. Mrs. Beth Conti, former Crooked Billet teacher. Mrs. Ida Zimmer, former Crooked Billet teacher. And Mrs. Carolyn Kircher, former Crooked Billet teacher. And finally, representing our other special invited guest today, Mr. Scott Randolph, executive pr producer of Arrival Video Productions, Eileen Martin with Arrival Video Productions, Mr. Lynn Magaha with the Millbrook Society, Daniel Hoffer with Schrader Group Architects, Jamie Lynch with Dewey Engineering, my parents, Bill and Diane Sendel. <laughs> Mrs. Kane Sokol's dad, Mr. Tom Kane. We have a former Crooked Billet custodian who just retired about four days ago, Mr. Keith Beck, escorted by his daughter. We'll give him a round of applause. Mr. Keith Beck is uh, not used to sitting on this day. He's used to running around, so... Feels good to sit. Mr. Keith Beck is escorted by his daughter, Mrs. Tiffany Ravel, who is Mrs. Philadelphia County 2018. <laughs> Mr. Timothy Schultz, our borough historian. He's taking pictures over here. And finally, uh, Mr. Sean Flanagan um, is one of the members of the 5th Pennsylvania Regiment. Um, so I would like to thank them for being here today. They're down in the field getting set up for our students to do stations midday. And for all of the neighbors that are standing here, our 5th Pe Pennsylvania Regiment will be firing off, not a real cannon, but there will be a loud cannon noise at 2 p.m. today. For all of you that live in the neighborhood, do not be alarmed. We are firing, not a real cannon, but a blank cannon. So thank you. Can we give all of our special guests a round of applause and thank you for coming today.
Interspersed through today's program will be short crooked billet reflections written and read by some of our fifth grade students. This is new to us this year. Please welcome Cecilia Hamilton and Corey McMenamin who will share their crooked billet reflections. What crooked billet? What crooked billet means to me is something I can't put in words. I was dreaming of being a crooked billet beaver before I was in kindergarten. I know crooked billet better than the back of my hand. So many things have happened here. I made new friends, tried new tried new activities, and experienced new things happening. If you are in second grade or lower now, you are probably going to make crooked billet at least one more year. But if you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you will never learn here in this school again. I'm in fifth grade, so I will never be part of this school again, even if it wasn't being torn down. Because I would still be gone next year to go to middle school. When I was younger, I always thought that I would be excited for middle school. Don't get me wrong, I'm still excited, but I don't want to leave my school. This is the only school I've ever been to, and I kind of don't want to leave it behind. I will always remember everything about the school from the friends I made to how the playground shaped. It seems I have missed one of our special guests, so if we can give uh, representing the Hepperell Borough, Mrs. Diane Hagel. I'm sorry, Diane. Welcome to Crooked Billet Day. And thank you, Cecilia and Corey, for those crooked billet reflections. On crooked billet day, our students wear colonial attire and are known as crooked billet dandies. Please listen carefully to the words of our song, which explain it all. Students, please stand. students, please be seated. Please welcome fourth graders Lily Hall and Robert Ravinsky, who will now present their essays that explain the significance of our Crooked Billet Day celebration. This is what Crooked Billet Day means to me. I love Crooked Billet Day and here is why. Boom, hear the cannons in the distance. The Americans and the British were in the battle fighting against each other. This battle took place on the took place on the grounds we are standing on today right now. The battle happened on the morning of May 1st, 1778. The morning the Americans were preventing the British from receiving food and supplies. So what happened was when all the British's food and supplies shipped in, the Americans would sneak out and and steal it. Unfortunately, the Americans lost this battle, but what they did was they ran, and they ran to where the penny pack trails are today. When they got there, they noticed that they had less men and found out. 26 were killed, 58 were missing, and 8 were wounded. Next, I love Crooked Billet Day because of the attire we wear. It is colonial attire. The girls wear a dress with an apron. I feel amazing when I wear those clothes because I feel like I was truly in the past fighting for people's rights. Girls also wear bonnets and long skirts. For shoes, girls often wear boots of some sort. Now, 
what the boys wear. They usually wear tri-cornered hats, a vest, and a white dress shirt with lace cuffs. Black dress pants, shoes with buckles, and long white socks. I don't know how the boys feel, but I'm sure they feel like true soldiers. Next, another reason why I love Crooked Bill Day is the ceremony. The fifth graders perform a dance called the Virginia Reel. They also choose one boy and one girl from each fifth grade class to hang a wreath on a very special monument to honor the people that were killed during the battle. Also, the fifth graders raise the flag, and we are all silent during this process. Last, we have assemblies in the afternoon on Crooked Bill Day. For example, we had a person come in and show us different artifacts from the battle. Next, we have had different speakers come in and tell us about the battle. For example, one year we had a guy come in and, and he made a movie about the battle. Also during lunch, we have cupcakes. In conclusion, you can see I love Crooked Bill Day and how the soldiers risk their lives for us to have what we have today and what we'll have in the future. The Battle of Crooked Bill was a small but historic moment helping make America. As the, as the colonists made their way over to America, they realized they were not completely free from the king's rule. They had lots of land, but they still had to pay taxes to him. Some farmers didn't care if they were taxed. Others were enraged. The loyalists were a small portion of the Americans that were still loyal to the king. During the Revolutionary War, the loyalists sent food to the British soldiers in carts. The Americans stopped the carts from getting to Philadelphia, where the British soldiers had camped. The Patriots repeated stopping the carts from getting to Philadelphia. King George decided he had enough. He was going to stop the Patriots. On April 30th, two British columns of soldiers left Philadelphia for war. The Patriots had set up outposts with soldiers on the outside of Hatboro, but the soldiers fell asleep. The two British columns together led 850 men. One column was led by Colonel Robert Abercrombie with 525 soldiers. Although the Patriots were just farmers, they had prepared for war. General John Lacey led only 300 soldiers, and they were low on ammunition. The Americans had been sleeping when they heard gunfire. The British had ambushed them. The Patriots fled the battle to unfamiliar territory. They hid until the British left. Eight Americans were wounded, 26 were killed, and 58 had gone missing. That is the tragic but historic event of the Battle of Crooked Billet. We celebrate Crooked Billet Day because we are proud of having a historic moment take place here. The small army of the Americans fought their best and their fighting contributed to the founding of America. The soldiers were very brave, so we honor them. The Americans were very resourceful. It is cool to have an important history have here, or to happen here. We celebrate Crooked Billet Day by going outside to the four trees in front of our school and singing patriotic songs. The fifth grade does a dance called the Virginia Reel. We go to the memorial and place flowers in front of it. We listen to fourth and fifth graders' awesome speeches, and we honor the soldiers. While this is all happening, we wear colonial clothing. Crooked Billet Day is an awesome day. Finally, Crooked Billet Day is special to me because I have made lots of friends. Crooked Billet also has great teachers. It was my first school ever, and everybody is really kind. Since I have come to this school, I have really learned a lot. It is amazing to think that such a historic event could happen right here. Crooked Billet is just an overall awesome school. To sum it all up, the Battle of Crooked Billet was a small but important moment contributing to the founding of America, and Crooked Billet Elementary School is amazing. Thank you, Lily and Robert. Great essays. The Crooked Billet family will now share what Crooked Billet means to them by singing our school song. Students, please stand.
welcome Ava Coglin and Dean Barber, who will share their Crooked Billet reflections. Crooked Billet means the world to me, and I know that my last days here are nearing. I can't imagine leaving. I grew up here. Crooked Billet is my family. Leaving would be like leaving your family to go live in a whole new universe. I can't and will never be able to put my feelings into words, but if I had to describe my past six years here in Crooked Billet using only a few words, the wor first words that come to mind are memorable, joyous, and life-changing. Crooked Billet is very special to me, not only because of all the memories I've made here, but also because my grandmother was the first class to graduate after going all through Crooked Billet from when it opened as the Meadowbrook School in 1951. Now, 67 years later, I will be the last class to graduate from this very special school. At this time, fifth graders Ava Kostick and Christopher Yeager will lay a wreath at our monument commemorating the Battle of Crooked Billet. Escorting Ava and Christopher are two very special representatives. As Dean just mentioned, we have Dean Barber, a member of the Crooked Billet class of 2018, the last graduating class to complete all six years here, and Dean's grandmother, Mrs. Joan Massimilla Pascucci, a member of the Meadowbrook School, class of 1957, the first graduating class to complete all six years at Crooked Billet. <laughs> Mr. John Boyd, our bagpiper, will accompany them, along with Mr. Sean Flanagan. What Crooked Billet means to me. Crooked Billet is special to me because of what I learned, the traditions, and the teachers. First, since I started here, I've been learning so much. My brain is overflowing with new lessons each year. In math, we started with adding and subtracting, and now we're, and now we are multiplying and dividing and working with fractions. In writing, we started with learning how to write 
sentences, and now we are writing stories, poems, and essays. In science, we always do experiments to, to learn how things work. Some experiments have included humdingers, the water cycle, chicks, bat and battery circuits. There are so many traditions at Crooked Billet. One is my favorite is Crooked Billet Day. We sing songs and dress up in colonial clothes. Every year, fifth graders perform a dance called the Virginia Reel. Then there's field day where we play fun obstacles, do tug of war. Also, there is a holiday sing-along. ABC and an ADP and an ABC countdown to the last day of school. The father daughter dance, the mother daughter tea, the PSSC bonfire, and pizza parties. There are a lot more fun activities we do here, but if I keep talking about them, I'm going to cry. Finally, I'm going to miss the teachers here at Crooked Billet. First teacher I want to talk about is Miss Buseman. She tells me to be a positive, good person and to always try my best to make a good change in the world. Then there's Miss Snowbone, who always has a positive attitude. Also, Mr. Duffner, who tells us funny stories about his dogs, Rocker and Boris, and his little baby girl, Betsy. Last is Miss Hood, who puts our brains to the test to try to solve puzzles all over the classroom to be able to escape the classroom. In conclusion, I really and truly am going to miss the school and everything I learned, the traditions, and the teachers. Crooked Billy, you truly are the best. Yes. What Crooked Billy means to me. Crooked Billy was so much fun. I'm going to miss the school. I'm going to remember to I want to remember all my teachers and the things we did every year. To begin with, in kindergarten, I am Mrs. McCarty. She was just laid out my day. On my first day of school, I was going bananas because I didn't know anybody. But once I started talking to people, I felt great. In first grade, I am Mrs. Trishkevich. She would let us take Buster to Beaver home for a weekend. On field day, I was excited for the games that we were going to play. Next in second grade, I am Mrs. Reed. When we had the chicks, I couldn't wait to touch one because they were so fluffy. When the ABC countdown came at the end of the year, I knew it was the time to have some fun. In third grade, I had Mrs. Williams. When the crayfish and beetles came, I was so scared to touch them, so I didn't. Miss Williams sang the highlighter song to us all year, and it was music to my ears. In fourth grade, I had Mrs. Evans. She would read us the series of unfortunate events. I really liked those books because the characters had to find clues to solve a mystery. We learned about circus and have fun creating one in the group. Finally, in fifth grade, I'm Mrs. Hood, Mr. Duffner, and Miss Beesman. Mr. Duffner would talk about his dogs, Rocker and Boris. They are great dogs. Mrs. Hood would have escaped the classroom. It is a game to figure out the clues to find a key to open a case. It is fun. Miss Beesman always helps me with reading tests and makes funny jokes with me. In conclusion, Crooked Bill was so much fun. I am going to miss the school very much. I am going to remember all my teachers and the things we did each year. Crooked Bill, you are the best. Yes. Thank you, Logan and Connor. Great job. Each year, the students at Crooked Bill learn a new song for the Crooked Billet Day celebration. For your enjoyment, this year we will sing Song of Peace. Students, please stand.
Thank you, Crooked Billet students. Please be seated. Please welcome Hava Trapman and Jude Cruz Sweeney, who will share their Crooked Billet reflections. I do realize that we fifth graders aren't the only ones leaving Cricket Billet this year. The whole school is leaving this year, and that is really upsetting. Because I've known the school for six years, so it's going to be really hard to say goodbye, knowing it's even getting knocked down. I know I'm, not, I know I'm going to have an awesome time at Keith Valley, but I'm sure going to miss this place a lot. Cricket Billet, you truly are the best. Yes. and all of the memories I've made here. I appreciate the teachers and students that have guided me through my elementary years. I will soon say goodbye to Google Billet, but I'd also like to say thank you, and I will visit again someday. I know the most honorable thing to do is to say what all of us quick fifth graders say. So, Google Billet, you are the best. Yes! One of our most memorable and enjoyable milestones for our fifth grade students is their dance performance on Crooked Billet Day. Please welcome our fifth graders accompanied by several fourth grade boys who will perform the Virginia Reel. Oh, 
Turn to your seats. Please welcome Alyssa Sadler and Callie Ruby, who will share their Crooked Billet reflections. So as I say my final farewells, I wish everyone from staff to students Good luck in the future years. And enjoy your time at Crooked Billet while it lasts, because it only lasts for so long. I miss you already, Crooked Billet. As my last days here at Crooked Billet are coming to an end, I am sad that we're moving on and hope that the upcoming classes keep the Crooked Billet pride alive. I would like to thank all my teachers, principals, counselors, and all of the staff that have helped me throughout the years to learn and grow into a young lady. I will always be a Crooked Billet dandy. On behalf of the Crooked Billet Elementary School family, I would like to thank you all for coming today to join in our celebration. A very special thank you to the following people and groups of people. Mr. Jim Verdure and the Keith Valley Middle School Jazz Band. Mr. Jim Yaya and the Keith Valley Scouts Color Guard.
the Crooked Bill a Day Committee and all the staff that put time and effort into making this day possible, especially Mrs. Jessica Welch, Mr. Drew Rodebaugh, Ms. Betsy Vecchione, Mrs. Sienna Healy, and Mrs. Lynn Denner. Mr. Mike Lombardi and our facilities crew that were here very, very early this morning getting the ground set up. Our fifth grade greeters that, that greeted our special invited guests this morning, Anastasia Burzin, Ben Kasok, Dominic Messing, Eric Reichner, Allison Thompson, and Anthony Wood. Our fifth grade students that spent yesterday afternoon outside beautifying our gardens and planting our flowers. Thank you, fifth graders. Our Crooked Bill at Home and School Association, who will be making this afternoon's assembly possible for us. And a special thank you to the members of the 5th PA Regiment who assisted in our ceremony today and will be providing educational activities for our students for the remainder of the morning and the afternoon. And as a reminder, they will be firing a cannon at 2 p.m. today. Do not be alarmed. Thank you, 5th PA Regiment. And last but not least, thank you to all of our staff, students, and families for making Crooked Billet Elementary School a wonderful place for us to work, learn, and grow. <laughs> to conclude this morning's program, we will close with the singing of God Bless America. Students, please stand. Students will process out. Color guard, please retire the colors. <laughs> 